Thank you, Jimmy. And I get the, the honor and the privilege to introduce uh, our first speaker tonight, and it's actually uh, the president of the Omaha Police Officers Association, uh, Tony Connor. Uh, I'm sure many of you have gotten to know Tony uh, over the years. Um, I've had the privilege, the honor, of, of getting to not just call him uh, somebody that we work with, but, but to, get, to, to call him a friend. Uh, and he's also a, a Republican now, which is uh, pretty awesome to see. Uh, but, but when we talked to Tony about uh, hosting the event here, uh, there was kind of two main reasons, uh, two messages we wanted to send to the community, two messages we wanted to send to Tony Vargas uh, and to Alicia Shelton, who we're running against. It's first and foremost, Republicans um, are going to make a play for unions. Uh, this, this idea that Democrats have unions in the bag, that's not true. Um, I think the congressman showed that time and time again, and we want to continue to lead with that message. Secondly, it's law enforcement. Congressman Bacon, his team, our team, the Republican team, we're always going to have the back of law enforcement. We're going to stand up for law and order, uh, for the law. Uh, so those are two of the statements that we want to send uh, by having it here tonight. And so, so without further ado, apart from, I, I just want to say one thing. He's really a great guy. Apart from being an Eagles fan, um, I'm trying to work on that, um, but anyways, Tony Connor. Tony Connor. Well, first of all, welcome everyone to the OPOA Hall. I'm really proud and honored to have you guys all here. Th this really does send a clear message to Don's opponents that Don Bacon supports law enforcement. I appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don has always prioritized uh, law enforcement. He's, he's made us a priority in his bills that he support. He reached out to me several years ago, and he didn't say, he, he, didn't, he almost demanded a meeting with us to, to, to get an endorsement, because it was that important to him. After getting an endorsement with Don, he has prioritized law enforcement. He support our bills, support our issues. And one of the things he said that has always stuck with me, and I know I said this in my speech in the past, but this is the, this is the true thing that matters. With exactly what Derek just said with the Republican Party, truly reaching out to unions um, here in the future is, I didn't have to sacrifice my values in order to stand for what they needed. That's what Don told me and that's what matters. What are your values? Clearly understand what your values are and that's what Don has, he stood with his, with his values and it was so simple and easy to support law enforcement. So I appreciate that Don, thank you. We know right now um, that our law enforcement is still under attack in this country. Omaha has obviously bucked the trends, and I'm happy that we have bucked those trends. It's because of a good relationship with the OPOA, a good relationship with our mayor's office, good relationship with the county attorney's office. We don't have these progressive county attorneys like you see in LA, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You see all these crazy prosecutors literally, literally letting criminals out of jail. We don't have that in Omaha, thank God. So that's why we, ha we have bucked those trends. But understand something, law enforcement is still under attack. We're still finding, our, finding, finding it tough to get recruits, good recruits. We have to continue to fight, fight for that. So I appreciate Don's support over the years. It really means a lot. <clears throat> uh, one thing I will add too though is, is just for one, for one second, and I, don't, I don't, didn't want to talk too much about Don's opponent, but if you guys remember in 2020, we had a lot of issues with riots here in Omaha after the George Floyd incident in, in Minneapolis. His opponent decided to go on to social media and his first, his first thing was to do was to attack law enforcement. He criticized us, made it like we were somehow the cause of the problems in the old market. Criticized and demean, demean, demeaned us. I tell you, as long as I'm the president of this organization, as long as there's blood pumping through my veins and there's, there's air in my lungs, I will not let any politician stand on the back of all my police officers to elevate themselves. That will not happen. <laughs> I'm not even gonna mention his name because we're supporting Don Bacon and he, we're gonna send him back to Washington. We need Don Bacon in Washington to push back against the Biden-Harris radical agenda. So we need, to, we need to get together and work hard. Now I know right now, if everyone's paying attention to politics, we're all talking about the red wave, right? Talk about the red wave of 2022. Don't get duped. Don't believe everything you're hearing in the media. We still have to work. We gotta get out there, we gotta get votes, we gotta get people to the polls to vote. We have to send Don Bacon back to Washington. <laughs> As Derek mentioned, I am an Eagles fan and the Eagles do play tonight. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep my comments really short and I'm gonna pretty much end there, but I will say this, Don has been not just a supporter of law enforcement, 
not just someone who shares my values, that he represents me well in this district that I live in too, but he's also been a friend over the years. So I appreciate you, first of all, coming here and, well, and, and having your event here really means a lot to me. And it means a lot to the community that you're showing your support for law enforcement. I really appreciate that. But also appreciate our friendship over the years, Don. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you.